The geospatial technologies and human rights project started in 2005 and our purpose was to partner with human rights organizations to help them investigate the different human rights abuses that were concerns of theirs. And particularly we wanted to investigate if we could use different geospatial technologies like satellite imagery and GPS technologies such as these to be able to find places that were inaccessible to the human rights organizations, particularly in areas where perhaps the, the organization wasn't allowed to enter the country or in really remote locations such as mountainous regions or places that were very um, dangerous such as in areas of active conflict. So we've worked with a number of different human rights organizations over the past five years such as Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch and the Free Burma Rangers among others. And so our project has been able to provide a lot of compelling evidence both for campaign, campaigning and advocacy needs for our partner human rights organizations and also we've begun to provide our satellite imagery analysis as compelling and replicable evidence in legal cases. The Geospatial Technologies and Human Rights Project recently undertook a satellite image assessment of the medieval Armenian cemetery called Julfa that is actually located in Azerbaijan. And this cemetery is full of Kashkars, which are burial monuments from the 15th and 16th century. And these monuments are approximately one meter tall and around two to two and a half meters wide. So they're fairly large and very intricately carved monuments. So the destruction that was reported occurred in 1998 followed up by additional damage in 2002 and then a final clearing of the cemetery in 2005. So AAAS obtained Im satellite imagery from 2003, which was the earliest image that was available of the area, and then in a another image in 2009 in order to, to capture as much of the scope of this destruction as possible. The first image that we acquired from September of 2003 shows the damage that occurred in the cemetery up until that point. And this damage was seen in the central parts of the cemetery. And we could tell from the pattern that the cash cars make on the ground, as, since they're about a meter high and two meters wide, they cast shadows on the ground and they're in, in large clumps in different areas. And so there's a very distinct pattern a texture to the area that's evident from the cash cars and their shadows. But in 2009, the entire area has been completely cleared of any signs of these monuments. Also, there were tracks from, further tracks from heavy moving equipment across the entire region, not just in the central area of the cemetery. And there was evidence that the land had been leveled flat using heavy moving equipment. So from this satellite image we were able to conclude that all of the cash cars in the area had in fact been removed by 2009. To investigate the destruction further we zoomed in to look at both the northern and southwestern areas of the of the cemetery that were intact during 2003 but then gone in 2009. This image of the northern area of the Julfa Cemetery shows very clearly the texture of the cash cars and the pattern that they make both from their height and from the shadows that they cast on the ground. And in the after image from 2009, you can very clearly see that, the, that all of this pattern has been removed and that there are very clear tracks from machinery that are going throughout the area. Moving forward, the Geospatial Technologies Project is starting to utilize both higher resolution satellite imagery and lower resolution satellite imagery. Higher resolution imagery is allowing us to see things with much more detail than in the past, so we're able to look more closely into individual incidents. The lower resolution imagery allows us to cover much larger areas at a time. In the future, we're planning on pulling in more satellite imagery and incorporating more field work using GPS and GPS cameras on the part of our human rights organization partners to be able to bring a much more complex view of, of ongoing situations using our technologies.